This place gives me the creeps. What if the vampire comes back? The flowers are still fresh. This is a somewhat neglected and dusty hat. The stone is rather unwieldy, so it couldn't be used as a weapon. Someone fell and hit their head on it. Hmm, we're dealing with a very immoderate bloodsucker here. Shouldn't we have brought some wooden stakes with us? Or at least garlic? Blade is bent from the impact. The bleeding wasn't severe, there are just a few drops. An expensive hat with a few grey hairs stuck to the brim. Someone tore their trousers here. <sighs> Looks like a set of surgical instruments. One is missing. The label is illegible. Mmm, nicely roasted. Psilocybin mushrooms. These are powerful hallucinogens. I wonder how even the most destitute always somehow manage to scrape together enough for a drink. Do we have any marshmallows? This must be the vagrant shelter. Quite homely, if you don't mind sleeping next to the corpses.
You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. The brother of the deceased became furious when he caught the anatomist exhuming his sister's body. He killed him with a shovel. The graveyard keeper took to his heels, but didn't get far. He fell, hitting his head on a stone, which rendered him unconscious. With the murderer gone, the reporter who was hiding punctured the neck of the first victim to imitate a bite. But when he did the same to the second victim, he killed an unconscious man. So we have two murders and two murderers, but no vampires. Vampires are not so scary when you have grave robbers and journalists running around. Constable Stark, do you believe in vampires? Hey, What do vampires have to do with anything? Oh, that's exactly what I thought while looking into the murders at the cemetery. The primary suspect is indeed the murderer, but he's not the only one. The reporter, who so easily fooled everyone with his vampire stories, killed the other victim. But why would he do that? He believed the unconscious man to be dead and decided to concoct a thrilling story for his readers. Oh, thank you, Mr. Holmes. I'll have the conniving little scrub taken in immediately. There's only one case left. Don't let me stop you.